While many inhaled fibers are trapped in the nose and throat, others make their way deep into the lungs. Here they enter into millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. Each of these tiny air sacs is surrounded by capillaries which are separated from air by a very thin membrane. The function of the alveoli is the oxygenation of blood and the removal of waste carbon dioxide from the blood. As each breath of air is inhaled, oxygen is absorbed through the sac's thin wall and into the blood. At the same time, carbon dioxide is removed from the blood back through the wall and then exhaled. It is here in the thin alveolar wall that asbestos fibers do much of their damage. Many of the microscopic fibers entering the lungs make their way into the alveoli. The presence of these fibers affects the alveolar membrane. Over a period of time, scar tissue builds, causing the wall to thicken. Eventually, the ability of the affected alveoli to transfer oxygen and carbon dioxide through the wall is decreased or stopped altogether. If sufficient fibers are inhaled over a long period of time, the affected person's ability to breathe will begin to decrease. This condition is called asbestosis. As the condition worsens, oxygen starvation sets in. Severe physical disability, or even death, may be the eventual result. 